Hi, everybody. Well, today I want to tell you that I, well, on the weekend, I fly out Saturday. My son is coming tomorrow and uh, he's going to stay another week here while I head out. But I wanted to show you that I bid on uh, cabin upgrades. And I'm hoping here, I'll, I'll, let me, I'll show you the whole process. That's right. So with cruise lines like Norwegian Cruise Line, Hong Celebrity Cruise Line, uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, and now Princess Cruise Line, you can book a cabin. And then within a month of the sailing, you can bid on upgrades. So for instance, you can go from a balcony cabin to a mini suite, and you could bid on how much that you want to bid. And it's kind of an interesting process. I've won and I've lost. And I've won when I thought I was going to lose. And I've lost when I thought I was going to want win. So it's, it's a very tricky situation. Because when you go in, uh, there's like a little diagram there. Well, here, I'm going to bring one up for you. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the current one that I'm bidding on right here. Uh, I bid on five different cabins. So this is, and by the way, the price you see is per person. Okay, so I have to double it because I'm a solo person. I my, my bid is actually double what you're going to see. So on the Oasis of the Seas, I bid for an owner's suite, roughly $2,000. But if you see, notice that it's $2,035. It's not an even number like 2000 2100 2200 it's an odd number cuz that 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 does help you win cuz a lot of people just go in and bid automatic numbers but yeah that's the owner suite that's a big big cabin i probably will not win that um here i'm going to show you something i'm going to modify this so i'm a, here's here's my current bid and you can see over here it's a very weak bid it says <laughs> In order to get into the strong, I would have to bring my bid up to 3200 and some dollars. And that's just barely into the strong category. Right? I'm not I'm not going to do that. So uh, it's harder to keep it get in there. Uh, come on. I'm going to say the changes right there. I'll take my weak category. I don't expect this cabin, but I, I tried to bid on it anyway. And then I bid on four others. I bid on a grand suite, which I've stayed in before, for $1,300. I bid on the Oasis of the Seas, a, a junior suite, just a, a minimum cabin upgrade, $600 and some dollar. The price for me to go to, from a regular balcony to the mini suite was around two thousand dollars so if i win this bid i'd save eight hundred dollars on that bid then i bid look at this one here's a grand suite i bid thirteen hundred and fifty dollars i was able to bid on a grand suite two bedroom which is much larger than the regular for for like seventy dollars more <laughs> and i'm st and both of these are in the same range on that meter when you're looking at it, the same range altogether. And then I just bid on a regular ocean view balcony with, but a larger balcony. And that would have been about a $900 price range difference had I booked it when I booked the cruise. And uh, I'm, I would pay another 500 and some dollars to get it. So save $400. So those are my bids. And I, I, I honestly don't expect to win any of them. If any of the, anything, I might win the large balcony. I, I, I might win that one because uh, there's probably a few larger balconies available and they'll take the extra 500 bucks if they want it. They may put me into a junior suite, but I didn't see too many junior suites available remaining on this cruise. And I didn't see hardly any suites available remaining. That doesn't mean people won't cancel at the last minute, uh, COVID reasons, et cetera, et cetera. 
and that doesn't mean they won't throw me into one. However, that's the bidding process. Now, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I can go in and I can modify it all the way up until the day before my cruise. 24 hours. Okay, means tomorrow I can go in and try and jumpstart this if I wanted to. I'm not touching it though. I'm leaving it exactly where it is. If I get it, great. If I don't, I'm in a cabin I like. I'm in a balcony cabin um, in an okay location, in a quiet location. That's the one thing I don't like about the bidding process is they put you in the cabin. So they're going to put you wherever you, if you say I win an, a grand suite, well, I'm going where they want to put me. And there's different variations of a grand suite. They different configurations of what they look like inside. The same with that, uh, you know, an ocean view, large balcony. Well, I could be put in an ocean view with a large balcony that is in a very noisy position or right under the pool deck. I don't know. So that's what you really got to wonder and worry about when you do a bid. Also, keep this in mind. If you are uh, need a, an accessible cabin, don't do these bids because they don't put you in, in, an, in a junior suite accessible cabin. They don't put you in a grand suite accessible cabin. So if you need an accessible cabin, stick with what you have because you have the getting in and out of the shower easier or a bath or anything that's convenient for an accessible cabin is in the one that you're booked. So if you're in one of those, do not try and do this bidding process. Apparently, um, Princess is a little different than this. So I have a Princess cruise coming up in December. And I was waiting because my ship was not part of the upgrade process yet. It had the, it just started about two days ago. So when I get back from my Royal Caribbean uh, sailing, uh, I'm going to go and then do the bidding process if I can. I, if it's if it's you know six if it's 30 days out, I can't do it until November. I have to wait till uh, first week of November to be able to start the bidding process. But I'll do another video on that because apparently it's different. The Royal Caribbean and Celebrity are pretty much the same. Norwegian's just a little different, but pretty much the same. However, uh, Princess is brand new to this. They've never done it before. And so I'm curious to see how their bidding process goes. And uh, yeah, that's the bidding. This is called Royal Up. If All you have to do is you search it, you enter in your name, you enter in your booking number, and there it is. You uh, you can go in and you can do your modifications if you want. Um, so there, that's the bidding process for Royal Caribbean. And uh, wish me luck. It's already Thursday. I fly out Saturday. I probably won't know anything until late Saturday night. But like I said, I'm not holding my breath.